All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1218, coming at you. That's right, everybody. If you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody. Very simple. Hit that red subscribe button, tap the bell to the right, and hit that like button and you're good to go that's how we do it all right so let's jump on into this uh big big shout out to kevin tinta for sending this email everybody in the chat or the comments say thank you kevin seriously say thank you kevin so he says the following hey pete can someone explain this to me so it makes sense with all of the DoorDash contract violations for 10 minutes late, I started paying close attention to my times. So check this out. I accepted an order at 1256. It said pick up by 121. I clicked the customer and it said deliver by 131. No problem this far. I arrive at said restaurant at 115 and swipe picked up at 118, three minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good. I go to start driving and now it says deliver by 114. What happened to 131? Or right, deliver by 131. Okay. It's already 118. How do I go back in time to deliver this food? I complete the order at 126, 5 minutes prior to the original time of 131 that I was given. However, according to the new time, I'm 12 minutes late. I did not get a violation for this. But how am I to know that I won't be next time? I bet this is why my on-time rating never changes from 88%, even though I am always on time, unless the restaurant's slow, in which case I always mark it as such. I'm pretty intelligent, but I can't figure this out to save my life. Feel free to use my name if you want. Thank you, Kevin Tinta. So, again, as I said in the past, there can be two reasons for this. Let's go with one, the more practical reason for this. Sounds like a glitch. I'm not going to lie. It's, it sounds like a glitch because why would the time change from 131, the original delivery time, and then change to 114 to go back in time, even though it was like 118 when you were there? How does that make sense? It doesn't. Grubhub has played games like this in the past too. As of recent, I have not seen it. However, this has happened. Um, so if we want to be positive, right? Because I'm always so negative, as everyone says. Um, <laughs> let's just say we'll give DoorDash the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say it's a glitch. Something they need to fix, okay? Everybody in the chat or in the comments, have you experienced this first and foremost with, with specifically DoorDash here? Where... They are originally giving you a later time. You go to pick up the order and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, for some reason, now the time is in the past that you were supposed to drop it off after you pick it up. To me, it sounds like a glitch. Now, if we want to go and say that this is being done deliberately, well, now that opens up a whole new can of worms here. Reason being... Is DoorDash doing this to get drivers deactivated? Now, if this was the fall of 2017 when I had not heard of DoorDash, I had not heard of their shady practices and the fact that they don't really care too much about their drivers, their dashers, whatever you want to refer to yourself as, um, I would say, nah, man, this, is, this has got to be something else. It's got to be a problem. It's got to be a glitch. But given DoorDash's track record, it would not surprise me if they were doing nonsense like this. And the reason why I say this is because he mentions right here, I did not get a violation for this, which is good. But how am I to know that I won't next time? You don't. And that's why he says, I bet this is why my on-time rating never changes from 88%, even though I am always on time unless the restaurant is slow in which case I always mark it as such. 
that's where this really is a real head scratcher here because you're, you you got to think to yourself, well, what is their angle here? Why for a company that refers to them themselves as a technology company, that's, that's a big, big issue. If they're pushing for drivers not being late, but yet in the app, it glitches, right? Giving them the benefit of the doubt. It glitches, okay? What are we led to believe? What are we led to believe? That they're trying to deactivate drivers or that this is an actual real glitch, like it's a real problem with the app. DoorDash, if you have a representative watching, please send this up the ladder and let them know to look into this if this is an actual problem, like a glitch, because I know this particular driver, Kevin, did not get a warning, but he's wondering if this happens again in the future, how am I going to know that it's not going to send me a warning, even though he did nothing wrong? See, in life, I've always felt if you do the crime, you got to do the time, okay? If you... With anything, if you do something wrong that you know you're not supposed to do, you should pay the consequences, whatever they may be, you know? It's like when you were a little kid and a parent said, don't touch that, don't touch that, or you're going to be punished, or you're going to whatever, you know? And the kid does it, the kid gets punished, and they say, oh, why? What happened? It's like, well, you did what you weren't supposed to do. That's not the case here. If a driver does their job and the system malfunctions and now the driver has a problem, I personally have a problem with that. So everybody in the chat or in the comments, drivers, tell me, is this something you have seen before? Something you have experienced before? Let me know down below. I'm very curious to hear because this is some real BS. But on another note, I do want to say thank you to all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. You guys are awesome. Uh, if you'd like to sign up to support the channel, links in the description at that same link and in the pin top comment. I'm going to read off our members here. And when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got BBA Master Yoda Nottingham. We got Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul. So, uh, we got Serena over here, Serena Siddiqui. Joining us once again, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, Terry DeLong, and Valerie Brown. Big shout out to all of you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us and supporting the channel. And of course, uh, if let's see here, and of course, uh, make sure to check out the Get Upside Gas app. You guys already know the deal with that. Pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it seriously, and check out PayToDriveStore.com for T-shirts and hoodies. Everything's on sale. And if you made it to the end of this video, comment end 308, end 308. Subscribe with all notifications on. Tap that like button real quick on your way out. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you all here next time on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. Peace, everybody.